Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today I have something rather different for you because the guys over at Gameloft got in touch with me and asked if I could make a guide for their game, Dragon Mania Legends. So I gave the game a download, checked it out, and I realized this game seems deceptively simple, but has a bunch of really cool things you can learn as you go along. And I thought today's video would be cool to actually help you learn about all the different things going on in Dragon Mania Legends. So that's what it's for. I hope you do all like it. If you do, please do like it and let me know. But let's get straight into it. So if you don't already own the game, you can download it from the iOS or the Android App Store. There'll be links in the description. You can check them out. Uh, it's available for both tablets and phones, Android and iOS, so links for all that stuff in the description. But yeah, let's just assume you've already got the game. So when you first download it, it's, uh, you know, kind of confusing to look at, because if you're looking at the screen right now, you may be like, ah, there's a lot of stuff going on, so I can't, what's up? So let's start with the Dragon Island, the place you know, that you're seeing uh, all these things on. Your Dragon Island is the place where your dragons go because the core part of Dragon Mania Legends that you can probably guess from the name is there are dragons. So basically you need to have dragon habitats. This is a fire dragon habitat. This is a wind dragon habitat. This is an earth dragon habitat. And just over here with the gold above it, this is a water dragon habitat. So uh, yeah, there are a bunch of habitats. Uh, you know, this is just a few of them. I've got a grass one here, etc., etc. Uh, but basically each uh, habitat stores certain types of dragons and you need to have that if you want to have a dragon of that type. So if you want to get like a metal you know, dragon, you need to have a metal dragon habitat, and that's just to keep off that. But yeah, your, your your island stores all of these habitats for the dragons to stay, but it also stores stuff like your portal, which you need to go out onto battle. It stores stuff like your dragon breathery, which you need to breed dragons and stuff, and uh, also stores your farm, which are really, really key if you actually want to get food to feed the dragons and level them up. So uh, yeah, this is your dragon island. As you slowly progress through the game, you get more uh, parts of it, and these kind of function like gyms. So over here, we've got like the kind of swampy area. Uh, as you get even more money, you can go over here, and you get the deserty area, then you get over here and uh, yeah it gets uh, bigger and bigger as you go along and there yeah, that's that kind of that but yeah let's let's focus on this island the one we actually have and the one you'll probably have for the first you know a uh, decent amount of gameplay because you slowly need to clear the island by you know doing stuff like chopping down the trees and stuff so we chop that down wait for it it gives us xp and uh, takes our stuff away and yeah the stuff like that you need to do so uh, basically yeah that's our dragon island but on the dragon island you have your dragons and the most important part of any dragon based game is the dragons so yeah uh, you can do quite a few cool things with the dragons so for instance uh, if we pick up our this this is my favorite dragon He's level 17. He's a smoke dragon, so he's a wind dragon mixed with a fire dragon. Uh, you can see you can do like the Pokemon on me thing where you're like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna stroke him a little bit, uh, and, and then you actually get coins from them. So if we go to this one, so <laughs> bad example. If we go to this one over here, you'll see that you, you stroke him and it, and it gives us gold. So yeah, uh, nurturing your dragons is good, not only for the dragon, but also for you because you get a little bit of gold out of it, which is pretty swell. And yeah, that's that. But what you can also do with the dragon is you can feed it to level it up and you can give it some training. So just something you need uh, to bear in mind there. Uh, but one of the really cool things you can do with dragons, if you're like, I really like this dragon and I really like this dragon but they're not so great you know separately I want to have like one combined dragon is you can actually combine two types of dragons so for instance I've got a water dragon over here you can see and uh, then over here I've got let's say an earth dragon or I've got an air dragon over here you know I kind of want one that does both attacks so one of the really cool things about this is the breeding den uh, is that you can actually take two dragons so uh, we can be like okay let's take that water dragon so we'll take the wind dragon from here and we'll take the water dragon from down here and you can actually breed them together and uh, obviously it takes a little bit of time but then eventually you'll wake up uh, you'll end up with an egg for them and uh, it's pretty cool if you ask me so once we do this we'll end up with I guess a steam dragon that can do both wind attacks and water attacks and you can do really cool stuff like this and breed your ranks together to make new ones or you know if you just want to spend your gold and do it you can actually go to the shop and you can be like you know what I've been working real hard, let's get ourselves a new dragon. So, if you want to get a crazy dragon, like a reindeer dragon, something entirely possible. If, if 3200 gems is a little bit out of your price range, you can also just buy stuff like a bee dragon. You can buy, I actually have a bee dragon, I think. Uh, you can buy stuff like a salamander dragon. You can buy stuff, um, you can buy the elemental dragons, but there's just so many different dragons in the game, and the selection only increases as you go along. Every time you beat a boss dragon, you actually unlock it, and you can just see, I'm scrolling through here, <laughs> they just don't seem to end, there's just so many dragons in this game, and I think that's kind of cool. Uh, if you if you like your dragon selection, it's got that almost Pokemon appeal to it that I kind of mentioned uh, quite a bit, uh, that it's like, uh, you know, it, 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 it takes all these, uh, you know, freemium elements of a game that you might recognize, like collecting the gold and stuff, but it adds in this cool kind of battling mechanic, and the dragons are the core, core part of that, so just bear that in mind. Um, breathe the dragons, make better dragons, and then nurture them, feed them, make sure they level up. So just, uh, I feel like I need to show you this because this is one of my favorite things. Uh, it's probably going to take my food photos this one, so we'll take uh, a, a slightly lower level dragon. You can see right here, if uh, as you feed them food, they eat it, and it's actually kind of cool like that. So uh, not only is feeding them going to level them up, but you also get this cool thing as you see them actually eat the food around them. So yeah, I, I really do like that, and that's kind of that right there. So that's all of our food gone, but at least we got a dragon level outfit. Let's uh, move on to the next part of the game because, uh, you know, a really important part of the game is actually battling. So you, you, you might I've been curious this whole time is like okay I get the point so cat you can breed dragons that's cool I love collecting new dragons 
what do I do with them? So, uh, yeah, this is uh, kind of explained at first, but you know, at some point it kind of goes away. But there are two core things you can do with dragons, and that's battling through the game, and also battling other players. So battling other players is relatively simple. You go to the battle arena, and it's like, okay, I'm going to find an opponent, and you can fight against them, and you slowly rank up as you decide to do this. So, um, here you can see we've got three easy things, so we'll go with the level 9 guys, because that's probably going to be the easiest. And now we can actually attack another player. He's called Plot P, apparently. And, uh, yeah, let's do this then, shall we? So... This is the combat scene right here. We've got three dragons. They've got three dragons. Most PvP goes like this, but, you know, like, yeah, which means that basically uh, the, it goes bottom left, bottom right, middle left, middle right, bot top left, top right. So you can actually use this uh, to your advantage because you can look around and you can be like, well, if I take out this guy, he won't be able to have a tech second attack. Whereas if we take out this guy, you know, he's going to attack before we finish him because I can't finish him in one. Because you can actually see as we come over. Oh, there we go. We can actually finish him in one. And that saves that problem right there. Because we have a very powerful dragon. Like I said, I put all my resources into the smoke guy. Because um, you can just get attached to dragons. And that's something I've been doing with this. Like, I, I I don't know why, but it's like, you know, I know he's just a virtual dragon. But I still really love this smoke guy. So, yeah. That, now we attack this guy. And we entirely miss. Because... Uh, one of the really cool things I like about this game as opposed to other kind of turn-based RPG stuff is you do need to actually get that thing right. Like, you need to get the bar just right if you want to do it. And it means it's not just, like, idly spam, you know, A or spam, like, tap just over and over again until something happens. You do actually have to be a little bit thoughtful about it, which I like. I like, you know, I, I, I like anything that adds a little bit of skill cap to it, and that's in there right here. So, I just destroyed this guy, like I said. I, I went after him deliberately because he was easy, but I get three stars and it makes me feel good about myself. That's all that really counts here. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, facing up against other players. As you defeat players, you get a higher position in your league. You know, they've got the league system, which I think is really cool for a game like this. Um, but what they also have is playing against, uh, you know, the game, playing against enemies. So as you go through the game, you can see you, you kind of start all the way over here. You slowly go through the spaces. It feels a little bit like Mario Party with the spaces thing there. But you go through them, and they're kind of different levels. Uh, you can come back to the levels if you want to get more stars. So I see this two-star thing here, and I'm like, oh, I really, really want to just uh, go back and get this. But yeah, you can also just head through the map and uh, work through it. And it's kind of like a story mode thing. It's like every battle is going to be harder than the last one, which I think is quite cool. But let's uh, show you with this one. So this is going to be a reasonably tricky battle. I'm only a little bit, you know, at right the level, so we can see what we can do here. And uh, yeah, basically, this is where the tactics need to be done. Usually you're going to be outgunned and stuff, so you have to be really tactical on this. So you need to be like, okay, and then, so you see we've got three separate enemies here. Again, try and take as little damage as possible because they do a lot of damage to you. So we'll take out this uh, leafy guy before he can even do an attack and stuff like this you have to be really tactical about. So yeah, the guy kind of section of this is to kind of tell you make sure you take out enemies just before they can get to you. So we see this guy, yeah, he can, he can be taken down like this. Second uh, little piece of advice is make sure you actually uh, research and get the extra abilities on your stuff. So uh, there's a little academy that I'll show you in a second that allows you to upgrade your abilities. So with, um, you know, water, you can use it on yourself and you can actually, you know, restore health to yourself. But it also works on other enemies. So it can be like, ah, uh, actually, you know, this guy doesn't have really strong attacks. So we can, uh, we might as well heal ourselves this time. And as you can see, all the way back up to full health. Very, very handy ability to upgrade. Also, it's a, it's a pretty good dragon in general. Um, and then this uh, ability just does extra damage. It's just stuff like this you need to, you know, really bear in mind, like, get the abilities. They really help you out. Like, it's alright to damage their whole team uh, with this fire ability. I'll do it again just here. You can see it. Wait, actually, we should use it up here, I guess. Actually, yeah, no, no, we'll use it down here. Uh, as you can see, we do damage the entire team. Only two guys right now. But still, it's it's pretty cool that you can do, like, an explosive shot instead of just a regular shot. I think it's pretty useful. So, um, yeah, let's... um finish off this guy before he can kill me hopefully uh actually you know i'm hopefully not gonna dive away but yeah you can see um gotta be really tactical take as few hits as possible um when you know when, when you get to the situations where you're fighting bosses they can generally take you out in one or two hits so the fewer hits you take the, the better your life will be so uh let's just mop up the last of these and uh take our victory and another really cool thing that i think we're gonna see because we um Oh, I guess we won't be able to see it, but you can see in the bottom left there, there's Dragon Fury. One of my favorite parts of this is it has, like, a thing where if you, uh, you know, if you if you use so many attacks in the road to kind of reward you for staying alive that long, it gives you Dragon Fury, where it's like, ah, attack the screen really fast, and it just, it feels really cool. It's one of those awesome attacks that I quite like. Uh, so, yeah, here you can see rewards. Yeah, we did a cool thing. Only two stars, so now that's going to bug me forever, and I have to go back. But you can see, you slowly work through the island, and then presumably we hop aboard the submarine, and we head over here. It's It's got a cool, lengthy campaign, but not only does it have this long series of, you know, single-player fights to help you level up and all that stuff, it also has kind of, uh, again, like kind of a gym system where every single island has a secret thing on it. So, this island has the uh, the Mystic Cave. Uh, this 
this island over here. You can see he has the little hut over here. Uh, every island has one of these, and once you complete all of them, you can start doing all of the major things with the big Chronos Dragon. So, uh, yeah, that's a cool little thing that I kind of noticed right there. I have been enjoying this game so far. That's a guide to how to play it. I hope it does help you out in some way. Again, if you want to check it out, there are links in the description that you can check out. Uh, just one more time to uh, briefly go over it. Bunch of different dragons, just in case you're like, you know what? I wasn't interested in the game until I saw a candy dragon. Uh, I, I really do love the dragon variety. I, I really do love uh, quite a lot of the parts of this game. You know, the Pokemon battle mechanics I feel. I really do like a lot of that. But yeah, that's that. Today's video does have to come to an end. I hope you did all enjoy it. Big thank you to Gameloft for sponsoring the video. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video later today. So, goodbye.